We do have a few counties in our area with those highest rates of community spread, like Davidson and Stokes counties. But much of the triad is in the orange, which means substantial spread, which is not quite as high. Wake Forest Baptist Health infectious disease expert Dr. Christopher Ohl says most of that spread is among unvaccinated people who are also getting the sickest. The, the number of vaccinated people getting to our, admitted to our hospitals is, is so low, it's, it's hard to measure. Deaths is basically none. I haven't seen any deaths in our area in a vaccinated person. Health experts say people living in areas with high and substantial viral spread, like here in the triad, might need to mask back up again indoors, even if they're vaccinated because of the possibility of breakthrough infections, which are still not really understood. It looks like people who have symptomatic breakthrough infections can transmit it to an unvaccinated person. What's a little bit up in the air is that can an asymptomatic person with a positive test transmit it to an unvaccinated person? Cone Health Director of Pharmacy Dr. Andre Harvin says vaccines and masks are the best tools to slow the spread. Right now what we're missing is that commitment from everybody in the community to come in, get vaccinated, and to continue wearing those masks if they're put in a situation where they don't feel comfortable or um, normal precautions aren't able to be met. Dr. Ohl says we'll likely see less red and orange in a few months when this wave passes. But health officials stress we can change this picture now with vaccines and masks while saving lives in the process.